Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon with Campbell Fitness and today's video is to talk about arginine. The reason being is the very popular ingredient in a lot of pre-workouts. Most of us are familiar with it as it's marketed as the ingredient that gives you the pump, which is something that a lot of us are after. Now this particular video isn't necessarily a talk about the pump. We'll save that for a later video. What it is, however, going to focus on is arginine itself. So arginine is an amino acid and in the human body it's been shown to be a vasodilator which helps with blood pressure and blood flow because what it does is it helps keep your blood vessels wider so it allows more blood to flow through them. It's also been shown to do such things as helping repair tissues as well as helping repair injuries. Um, sometimes you see it associated with ATP and the helping with creatine. It has a lot of potentially beneficial properties associated with it which is all well and good, right? wrong. The main reason being is that because of this, what companies do is they market L-Arginine as a weight training supplement. The issue with this is when you take it orally in the form of powdered arginine, it has a really hard time getting through your intestines. So much so that your body has to break it down by the time it finally passes through them, you're not really seeing any of the benefit of this supplement. So while in theory it's good to have in your system as it has many beneficial properties, Taking it in orally through powdered supplement form has shown to be largely ineffective. Now what you can do, and relating this into a video I just did yesterday on citrulline malate, is in fact supplement with citrulline malate because it is a precursor to arginine. And it has been shown that increased levels of citrulline malate in the system has been shown to help with arginine in the body. Now the nice thing about citrulline malate is, is when you take it in, it doesn't get broken down as easily as arginine, so more of it gets into your system. So, hopefully this dispels some myths out there about arginine. If you see this in a product, it can pretty much give you a clear indication that it might not really be worth it and it's going to have a lot of bogus marketing attached. I am going to attach some relevant studies just for those that are interested. As always, everybody, I appreciate you watching and stay big.